Welcome back to our channel. If you don't know us, we are Mia and Rafael. We are the founders of Mall Portugal, an advisory company that helps you buy and renovate property in Portugal like a local. Today we're heading to Elvish, but not for our clients, it's actually for our own property. Okay, Tisha. We bought this property over three years ago and we definitely wanted to turn into our passion project as we bought it very, very impulsively. We made an offer on the spot. Within five minutes, we entered the property. So we just arrived and actually we are entering through this door for the first time because we never had the key before. We always use a side door to enter in it. And today, finally, the lock was replaced and we have a key to enter through the main door. Let's come inside. Oh, I still have missed it. We have it in our memories. Believe or not, most of the features you see here are completely still original, right? <laughs> you can give it up. It's fully original, including the statue that it is now, so it's kind of scary the amount of work that they did. The key for us is not only renovate, the, the priority is to preserve. You can see the details of the, the railings of the stairs, of the, these beautiful steps, and so many tiles because each area has different flooring, basically. So we're completely crazy about those tiles. But then the big question is what to do with this? We can just renovate it, but we actually don't have an idea of what to do with it. Should we keep it as one property or like a big mansion uh, in Elvis? Would that make sense or not? And maybe you guys can have some good ideas that you want to share with us in the comments about what to do with this property. We definitely want to renovate it and uh, what to do with it after, we don't know. Look at this, this is uh, painted marble, uh, was very prime product during the 17th century. And uh, now with all this here and the uh, bad protection of the, the water that comes from the roof, it got some infiltration. So now we're on the first floor of the property, which just came up from the main stairs and the main entrance. Uh, this floor, it used to be mainly for guests. That's why in every room you can see a lot of pretty extravagant details of the wallpaper, the curtains, the, the doors, and they have the best view. And this will be completely different when we go one floor up. This is an example of one of the rooms of this property that is actually not in bad shape. It, it really feels like that you don't need to do much here, just sanding the floor and making it shine, just repair some cracks in the ceiling. But as it is, or completely original, is not in bad shape. Here, look at this detail. There's a small button here in the floor that used to be for calling the maid. So you would just press it and eventually a maid would appear. Remember that this used to be a hot dog. So here we are in this bigger bedroom, which I think is one of the most beautiful rooms in this building. Uh, I can imagine they probably charged more in this hotel room than the other one. But looking at the shape, uh, the condition it's in, it's really sad. Um, we obviously have the water damage from upstairs from the roof. So if we're on the first floor, it's already looking so bad. Imagine how it is upstairs, which we will show you. We really want to save all these beautiful details on the ceiling and we really love this original wood floor. Uh, we need to look for pieces or to see if we can keep the look. We have 18 rooms in this property, so you can imagine the amount of work that it's needed. Luckily for us, not all the rooms are in this bad shape, as you see here, but the truth is that all the rooms uh, in this ground, in the upper floor and in the ground floor, that stays in this area of the building, they all were affected by the infiltration of water from the roof. So they are pretty damaged, 
Um, at least we need to protect this property the best we can for the winter, avoiding more water infiltration and to solve this uh, structural situation that we have to do. And then in the meantime, maybe we can have some good idea of uh, what to use this property for. On my right hand side, we have another set of stairs here, which is connect to another entrance that used to be the servant's entrance. So the servant would come up and down stairs only from here. And right next to the stairs, we are entering to the most extravagant room in this building. Well, look at this room. This room really shows the original owner's taste because he was an Italian businessman and he was living a very extravagant life. And then this room became so decadent. It's like a little maze here. There's corridors everywhere and doors. Oh, yeah. Some of them we even cannot open. And I forgot that we have a patio here yeah. and we were not able to open this. This should be, it should be full of pigeons. Let's That's see. just. Oh my god. Well, it really looks terrible. Look at this clip. Like, not really go in. Scary. Just another bedroom. Look at this. That's a good sign. So this is how we identified this area used to be servants' quarter. All the rooms in this area are much smaller and there is no extra trimmings, there's no extravagant details, it's just a space for people to rest. So imagine here we do a project with the engineer to reinforce all this structure with iron beams all the way to the ground floor and then build an infinitive pool here that you could be here just uh, by the end of the day chilling out, relaxing and uh, overlooking Spain that is right next to us. Thank you so much for letting us share with you our passion project. As we talked about before, the options are whether we will invest it to convert it into a boutique hotel, a senior home, a luxury Airbnb, an event menu, our list goes on. So we will take you along with our journey and keep you posted about what we'll decide and our thinking process. So please stay tuned and see you next time. Thank you. Bye.